you sit. Okay, so I'm recording you now, recording me uh, in a vicious cycle. Uh, it's a loop. This is the Blackmagic uh, 6K pocket cinema camera. Um, this is not quite into rotation yet, so it's just the one that I take out when I'm feeling capricious. Um, we, uh, as I mentioned before, we have all of our all of our lenses uh, uh, per camera. This is one's kind of borrowing different lenses. This is a 24 millimeter lens. Um, the back uh, LCD of, of a Blackmagic is pretty standard. Uh, we have um, we have a menu of, uh, say, uh, we can change our white balance here at the touch screen. We can change our ISO here at the touch screen. Um, we can even change our shutter angle, although I never actually leave off 180 degrees. That's just a, a standard shutter uh, uh, angle for uh, cinema cameras. Um, if you wanted to do something that had, like, um, not as much motion blur and you could see basically every frame crystal clear like uh, say the opening to um, Saving Private Ryan you could uh, say increase the shutter speed um, uh, in, in the menus here um, So these are our menus uh, we have our record menu which uh, can shoot uh, ProRes, um, uh, high quality, proxy quality, uh, low quality, um, 422, and HQ, which is uh, 4444. Four, four, four. Um, uh, but the nice thing about the Blackmagic cameras is B-RAW. B-RAW is a lossless compression uh, that's kind of a game changer. It communicates very well with DaVinci because DaVinci and B-RAW were designed to operate together um, and your compression uh, is nuts. You can do 12 to 1 compression lossless. Uh, you might see a small dip in quality but I haven't yet. So 12 to 1 means you're compressing it 12 times as much as uh, the raw file would be. You can do 8 to 1, 5 to 1, 3 to 1, and you can also change whether or not you want it to be that, that bit rate of 12 to 1, 8, 8 to 1, or a constant quality where the bit rate may go up and down um, depending on how much movement there is in the frame itself. Um, I don't understand how the compression science works. I just know that it does. <laughs> Um, and in B-RAW, you can shoot uh, 6K, 6K 2.41, which is uh, that CinemaScope screen aspect ratio, which um, gives you more pixels to use on your image because the black stuff's not being recorded, the, 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 the black frames on the top and bottom. You 4K, uh, 3.7K anamorphic, which uh, would be wonderful. We don't have any anamorphic lenses here at the station. I would love it if they did, but they're expensive so we're gonna go back over to ProRes LT now you can also change how uh, this transmits out to the LCD monitor or a, an, a, uh, an external director's monitor uh, you can um, change to a focus assist mode um, I usually use focus assist and zebra uh, that is uh, telling me what parts of the image are overexposed and your assist is just a little green or red lines around what's in focus um, although I do also have um, frame guides, uh, grids for shooting, like say, the rule of thirds, um, false color, which tells me exposure, uh, kind of like predator vision. It, it so shows like red and yellow and white for overexposed parts of the image. Green is typically well-balanced exposure, and then you can go blue or, and black, and those are underexposed. Um, the, the important thing to note about about these cameras is uh, they do shoot low light very well, but you do get granular really, really quickly. You'll start to notice a lot of film grain, um, although the 6K also has what's called dual ISO. It means um, above uh, 1250, I think it is for this camera. It shoots the image through a second processor, which uh, changes the dynamic range of, uh, uh, of the, the gray level. So you can actually get, shockingly, more cloud detail out of an image sh shooting directly at the sky at 1250 than you could at 800 because the 1250 changes 
um, your dynamic range so you have stops above and stops below where you can still have um, image quality. Uh, so that's that's the camera. You can also program it with LUTs, with lookup tables, so that you can um, look at your image recorded in RAW, but see how it can look in post. Some people like it, some people don't, um, like director-wise. Okay, so that's the camera.